Hi guys, Todd here. Today, <laughs> today we're going to be looking at do you know what a water-cooled PC is? A water-cooled personal computer. Here's some images. This is what a water-cooled PC actually looks like. Uh, so Stentorian or Stenturian, um, they have created a mod that actually mimics or looks like a water-cooled PC. And this is what it looks like. Now, I'll say from the outset, I think they have succeeded in what they tried to do. They have mimicked a PC case. I mean, it actually does look like a PC case. And I'll show you all this in the close-ups. In fact, I might even take it to bits in the close-ups. Um, but on the side here, you've got this, you've got a big chunky firing button and hopefully, look at that. So the whole thing line, lights up like a water-cooled PC. Now this does come in three different colours and I'll pop a picture up here if I can find it. And it's, I think, just now I can only find it, uh, I'll put a link in the description, but I can find it for, I think it's about $99 this is going to go for, or thereabouts. I cannot find it in the UK at this moment in time. But it's, uh, I do know that Watofo do distribute for these guys, so the chances are that you'll see it in various places as time goes by. I do have some thoughts on this one, but uh, I'll cover that at the end, but right now, close-ups. So when this arrives, it's going to arrive in a big old muckle box that looks something like this, and inside you will find one device, without all the fingerprints on it. In the bottom of the box you're going to find a USB charger, you're also going to find a manual which basically gives you little to no information on this device. I mean, that's all you get. There's hardly anything there. Now, the dimensions on this, because this is a, it's a big old mod. It really is. I mean, you're looking at 90 millimeters top to bottom here, and you're looking at just over 74 millimeters across, uh, and you're looking at 30.5 millimeters across the top here. But I really need to point out that from this point to this point here, you're looking about 23 millimeters. So anything bigger than that, and you're going to be overhanging on the edge here. So really wide, but from here to here is only 23 millimeters. The 510 is spring loaded. However, it is a bit on the short side. Uh, now, I have got all my atties on here, no problem at all, they will go on, but you are looking with the spring, I mean the contact fully depressed, you're looking at about 4.7mm, uh, and most of you will know that a lot of atties these days, you know, you can look, you're looking up to about 5mm, so yes, you will have gaps up here. It's a heavy old thing, I mean it weighs 348 grams, and I don't know, it's, listen, it looks exactly like a water-cooled PC. I cannot knock it on that. You know, it's it's not showing up too well here, but the lighting that you have here, you have another light over here, and this symbol here will light up as well. But you can see that it's, <laughs> it's just, it's an absolute fingerprint magnet. It really is. So you've got a, a, a clear plastic going on here, and I think this is like a zinc alloy going around the frame. You have a USB port at the back here. I have no idea if there's any firmware upgrades. I doubt it very, very much. And I actually don't know if any of this, you know, circuitry that they've got showing here actually does anything. But I'll cover that in a minute. It does have a built-in 3500 mAh LiPo battery. This does have short circuit protection, overtime protection, so you can only vape it for 10 seconds and it cuts out. It's got overheating protection, low voltage warning, overcharging protection, and low resistance protection. The resistance range is 0 0.1 ohm to 3 ohm, and it's got an output voltage of 4.2 volts. Now, it will continue to put out 4.2 volts according to the specification I've been given, so what happens is when you're vaping away, it has three different colours. So you get that blue, a slightly different blue, and a red. So if you have more than 70% power, uh, it, it's, it's more like a white, this but uh, when it goes 30 to 70 percent it goes like a proper blue and then less than 30 percent power it goes red. 
in all instances it will try to put out 4.2 volts depending on what you have on top and if it's actually capable of putting out that power with depending on what's in the battery. This is your fire button here, this whole side, it's almost like on a rocker switch. You can feel that rocker when you just push it down, you can see that there. One, two, three, four, five. And that switches it off. One, two, three, four, five. And switches it back on. Now I've just taken this to bits, uh, or as, <laughs> as to bits as I'm happy to do. Now, one thing that does piss me off about this device is there are a lot of claims in the marketing about heat sinks and uh, tubing and how it works like a water cooled PC. I think it's all bollocks to be honest. Uh, I mean, we've got all this going on. Now you will see that uh, here's your water cooled tubing. Uh, or what's meant to look like water cooled tubing. Now they say that this actually does something, but how it does anything I've no idea. As you can see there, it's just it's just little bars that are screwed into a bit of plastic. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, that does jack shit. You're probably going to have to wait for somebody like Daniel uh, or somebody like that to tell you exactly what in here is actually required for this board to function, this mod to function. I do not believe that it is a fraction of all this crap that you see going on here, but I understand why it's there. This is modelled in a water-cooled PC and all this stuff going on here gives it that look. And since I've got this in bits and curiosity is getting the better of me, you can see that uh, there's your actual firing switch there. Uh, so you've got that whole bar that runs down here, but this is what it actually activates. The 510 has actually got a nut under there that's holding it in place, so that should be okay with that one. And that's your LiPo there, but uh, you know, they could have put it uh, vertically instead of horizontally and reduced the size of this device, but then it would not have looked like a water-cooled PC. Also, if you're curious, you can see the, the LEDs that they have going on here. If I just push this fire button, you can see the two LEDs there, and there'll be one under here as well. And just because curiosity got the better of me, you can see here's your little old lipo that's uh, been hiding in that case. And it's just soldered on there. So, you know, if this did bug out on you down the line, then yeah, you could solder another one on there, no problem at all. But look, there's there's no circuitry going on. So all the crap that you see on the other side, yeah, it doesn't look like it's soldered on to anything, it's just for show. And there's the other LED light in there. And we're all back together. Uh, I don't really have anything else to, to cover with this, uh, the rest I shall talk about when we get back up top. It would be really, e I mean it would be very very easy for me to rip this thing to bits, but I have to remember that this is designed a certain way to emulate looks like something else. Uh, so I can't, on that one I can't fault it, uh, do you know it, it does look like a water cooled PC. So for that, 10 out of 10, it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do in that respect. Um, the thing I have issue with is when you go to the website, they've got things like um, cooling, <laughs> cooling circulation system, first brass radiating tube. Now you saw when I took it to bits there, those tubes aren't connected to anything at all, apart from a bit of plastic. So. That's crap, that's just rubbish. Uh, unique super large PCB expand radiating surface. And, and it kind of goes on from there, but <laughs> just the marketing behind this is, is just crap, it's pish, it's just forget it. The brass tacks are that it puts out 4.2 watts and it will continue to put out 4.2 watts as the battery depletes, so it's regulated in that sense. Uh, if you get down into the red less than 30% and you ask it to do something and it doesn't have the power there, it will not try to do it, it just cuts off. Uh, so from that respect, this might appeal to some people. The thing you have to remember, and I know I'm teaching a lot of people to suck eggs here, is that you have to coil or build your whatever you put on top to a 4.2 volt output. Go to steam-engine.org, I mean the link is in the description of every single video and make sure your build corresponds to a 4.2 volt output.
I, I can't see in the spec, it doesn't actually say if it's 2 amp or 1.5 amp or what charging, but it says it's a fast charge and it will charge within 2 hours. So that has to be with a 2 amp charger. There's no way that the 3,500 milliamp hour LiPo will charge in 2 hours with a just a, a 0 0.5 1 amp charge. Well, not in my opinion anyway. Actually vaping with it... <laughs> I, I do not dislike vaping with this device. Who would have thought? Uh, I mean, it's massive. It's absolutely... Look at the size of it. But the fact that I can push anywhere on this bar here, oh, I've just locked it, five clicks back on, um, I like that, I really like that, and, and I find it not uncomfortable to vape with. I've got the, the Vaporis, with Tofu Vaporis on there just now, and... And yes, wow! But as I said, be careful with the 510. It's not the deepest 510 I've ever come across. And I think a lot of things, you will have a gap on them. The strange thing is, the gap always seems to be on here. It's not like it's a, you know, an even gap that just seems to lean a little bit with a tall latte. I don't know what that is, but it's, it is something worth mentioning. They're just, just you know, I've got I actually got a... A bit of movement there because this isn't screwing right down but with a kylin on it it does in my humble experience it does perform and I did put it on my simple test rig and no matter what the state of the charge it did try to put out 4.2 volts but when it got down to the red, if I'm asking too much of it, if it doesn't have that charge in there, it did just cut out. I honestly thought that with this, I was just going to be sitting here going, it's shit. It's just utter shit. Um, and my, my honest opinion is that the marketing blurb that is on the site is, is just is wrong. Just ignore it all. Just ignore it all. Just know that it's got a three and a half thousand lipo inside it. It's got cut off protection, and and that's all you need to know. And it's just going to put out four point two volts. It's not going to do anything else. It's not regulated in the sense that you can adjust power up or down. Make sure you build for four point two volt output. And I actually find it quite comfortable to vape with. It does look like a water cooled PC, and that's that. I did. I so wanted to rip this to shreds, but aside from all the marketing bollocks, it's um, it just looks like a water cooled PC, and it puts power to your atty. There is some stuff that's kind of flaky, um, and that's in the figures as well. Now it does state in the blurb that it's a 35 amp device. You know that's that's the max, 35 amps. But it also says it'll do 0 0.1 ohm. Now 0 0.1 ohm, uh, putting out 4.2 volts, is actually 42 amps. So I'm not sure what the device is going to do at that point. Just adjusting my Ohm's Law calculator, 35 amps on a 0 0.1 ohm load takes it down to 3.5 volts with 122 watt output. As I said in the close-ups, you're probably going to have to wait for Mr. Bissardo or Daniel or somebody like that to, to get these figures for you. I just thought it was something that kind of bothering me that I felt should really be pointed out. I know some people are going to go nuts for that. I've shown this to a lot of people uh, and, and they love it. They absolutely love it. And I know a lot of people that, that tend to vape the kind of mods that I normally vape uh, think it's utter crap. But, you know, we're all different and different things are going to appeal to different people. And that's it. That's all I've got for you on the AT or the Alltech 7 by Stentorian Vapor. Uh, and once again, this is going to be distributed by Wutofo. So it should find its way into the UK and other places. But right now I can just see it on their website at about $90. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. And I warn you, Dad, just to let you know, I shall not be taking mods to bits ever again. Uh, I actually snapped a wire in this and I had to go and resolder it. I'm an asshole. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye now.